what's up guys what's going on hopefully you guys have an amazing morning evening and afternoon my name is smojo and we're doing a tier list i wanted to do a tier list i, I saw that everyone was doing a little bitty tier list a little thinky things majigger and I, I figured i'd do mine now uh, you know disclaimer okay i you know i i might not you know you you might not like what i pick on this tier list and if you don't i i, I understand everybody has like their own little taste and everything everybody plays the game differently than one another you know what i mean so please don't be mean to me please don't leave mean comments you know it, it would hurt but I, I i i appreciate you guys watching and i hope that you agree with the things that i'm about to say and i hope that i don't trigger most of you um but yeah thank you for clicking on a video and pretty much let's go ahead and get started now the first thing we're gonna be is armor now i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be completely honest i feel like there's really no use for armor now i have used it in runs but the main reason why i've used it in runs is because i would rock a melee build i'm talking about i would rock the whip i would rock the daggers i would rock the uh the uh the the, the 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 axe i would rock the the cross but to be honest it's a really weak build and armor really helps me a lot in those situations where i'm taking a bunch of damage but i'm not anymore because i have armor now armor doesn't have an evolution either which makes it kind of on the weaker side of a passive so I'm, I'm gonna give armor a good c I'm going to give armor a good C. Now, when it comes to magnet, I would say magnet would be in the C range as well. But because it, it, you need it for an evolution uh, for Santa Water to get Labor, I'm going to give it a B rank. Just because you pretty much need it for this god tier of a weapon down there. Um, axe itself is pretty weak. I don't, I honestly, I don't even like Axe. Um, but its evolved version is pretty good. But the axe itself i i don't i don't mess with the axe usually the only reason i'd pick up the axe is if i'm planning on evolving it to the next level you know what i mean um we are we already know king bible we, we, we are yeah king bible is uh is it s or a tier though is it s or a tier if you get some good passives on king bible it could be really you can make this extremely good we're talking about if you get duplicate on it for the amount if you get some reduced cooldown if you get some duration if you get some speed all of that combined on the uh, on the king bible you could really make it a really good weapon um but i'm gonna give it a rank just because we already know this guy down here is a s rank we we already know that that's that's a given that's a, that's pretty much a given now when it comes to the uh the evolved whip i'm gonna give it an a i'm gonna give it an a mainly because it heals you which it can really come in clutch if you're rocking a build that's not really on the stronger side and you're taking a lot of damage you can you can really come in clutch in situations where you need health and you could just sit there heal up heal up and then go go out around your day i've done it plenty of times um but i usually don't rock it that much but when i do rock it i can find that it's, it's, it, it can be really helpful mainly because it just heals now when it comes to the damage or anything like that is you know but healing yeah um bone bro i think bone is magnificent that's gonna be an a tier for me um i'm i want to see the evolved version of bones the evolved version of bones if we get an evolution s tier for sure um i love bones because of the knockback that's like the only reason damage is pretty solid you know what i mean but i mainly use it as a knockback um if i'm ever rocking the king bible or garlic and something gets inside of the circle i can definitely depend on bones to be there to knock the enemy back into place and make sure the enemy's going where it needs to be gone um bracer now i'm gonna be honest i usually don't rock bracer in fact i if i'm rocking bracer I, it's not gonna be for the dagger evolution it's really not i mainly rock Bla bracer for the king bible just to make the king bible speed up faster and hit more enemies that's literally the only reason i would ever use bracer i really don't find it useful in any other uh any uh, any other weapons except maybe rune tracer but other than that i really just don't find it you know useful in a lot of situations that's that's really the bottom line now the chandelier or chandelier i call it chandelier but i know i'm not saying it right this one is actually pretty solid the ability to make the area of weapons bigger bro that that really helps out with garlic that helps out with king bible that helps out with santa water that helps out with labora honestly bro i want to give this an a tier but i feel like i just shouldn't because i just don't I, again i don't use axe and to be honest i feel like death spiral is really good but i don't use it a lot um and that's how you evolve the axe into death spider you got to use this passive uh i don't know man i don't know if i should give it a, a. i feel like I, I feel like it should be b bro i feel like it i feel like it really should be b in this situation maybe even a c i'm gonna give it a b though just just in the middle now clock lancet 
Uh, Clark Lance is a little bit in the middle for me. I'm going to give Clark Lance it a B. I'm going to give it a B only because I, I do find it useful. I'm going to be honest. I do find the ability to freeze half of the screen late game. I, you know, especially if you're not rocking a build that's too damage heavy. You know what I mean? And you need to have that extra crowd control so your abilities can kill the enemies and you not take any damage. I feel like it could be useful in those situations as well as stalling the last boss. It could definitely be useful in those situations as well um when it comes to luck bro i don't I, I really don't care for luck the only reason i picked this up is to evolve the uh to evolve the cross that's the only reason there other than that bro i i just i don't i it's, it's gonna be d tier for me it's, it's gonna be d tier and even in i don't even you know i don't really evolve cross too much you know what i mean it's it, it i i really do it because it looks cool honestly yeah i think cross is probably the top tier best looking evolutions in my opinion uh cross itself bro is it's gonna be a c for me it's gonna be a c for me i just don't like the the evolved version is amazing but the regular no the regular version i don't really mess with the regular version like that um more experience that's gonna be a d tier for me no evolution you know it doesn't really matter late game i just it's it's just a it's just a d tier for me now when it comes to the death spire i'm gonna give the death spire a that's gonna be an a i like it however i don't like it every time i pick this guy up it seems to lag my computer. I don't know why. I don't I don't even have a bad computer. It's like a mid-tier, but it, it just lags my computer every time that Dev Spire goes out and hits all its enemies. It just lags it. But it does do a lot of damage. You know what I mean? So I, I, I gotta give it that. It does do a lot of damage. I can't be mad at the damage output of Death Spire. You gotta put some respect on my man's name. You know what I mean? You gotta put some respect on my man's name. Uh when it comes to a mount, a mount's pretty solid but it's it, i just feel like it's not too useful in situations now the fact that you use this to evolve the the lightning ring bumps it up a little bit bumps it up with the recent update the lightning ring i'm gonna be honest it's, it's either an a or an s tier it's either an a or s tier i kind of want to go for s I, i'm gonna be honest bro i kind of want to go for s like it helps out a lot of weapons you know what i mean and in fact it can even evolve one of the, the highest damage dealing weapons in the game you know what i mean picking this guy up you automatically have to pick up lightning ring and evolve that guy it's a no-brainer you know it's it's pretty much a no-brainer uh when it comes to ebony wings now i i like the way that ebony wings looks the dark demeanor i i i i like it you know i like it but honestly when it comes to the damage output of this guy it's annoying and it's just not that great so i'm gonna give it a Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a B tier. I'm gonna give it a B tier. I like the way it looks. I, I in in my personal black hole build, I'd pick this guy up because of the looks. Because it's a black hole build. How you not gonna have like the black little circle with the things falling down? That's the only reason I'm putting it up there, just because of that. Cool down, bro. That's gotta be ah. Is that B or A? Is that B or A, bro? Is that B or A? Evolved, evolved, uh, evolved magic wand. Ooh, but the cooldown pretty much helps everything and you know what i mean like the cooldown is pretty like i'd pick this guy up without the intention of using it in an evolution just because how good of a passive this is you know so i i think i'm a i think i'm gonna give it an a tier just because uh you know it, it's it's it, it'll work in any build to make the build better so i'm gonna I'm give that an a tier fire one that's that's gotta be a c tier bro i feel like fire one itself is is buns uh, the evolved version yeah sure but the the regular buns the regular regular but version is just not it's just not it bro it's just not it I, I, it's just not it garlic i'm gonna give garlic a b tier late game buns early game though best early game weapon bro garlic it, it, it's just, you can pretty much one shot everything early game for the first few minutes you know what i mean and that can go a long way going into your mid game getting your build ready before you know all those heavy waves come in and and and, and start assaulting you in, in various demeanors and everything so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a b tier definitely gonna be a b tier now i forgot what this weapon is called but it's the evolved version of the cross bro i'm gonna give it an a tier it does good damage it, it, it's 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 it, it, it goes hand in hand with a lot of passives and on top of that it looks cool you know it, the looks cool really matters to me it looks cool so i'm gonna, I'm gonna give that an a tier now hellfire i believe it's called hellfire i i it, <sighs> hellfire is a little bit on the on the medium side for me my freaking mouse is about to die it's, it's on the medium side for me like it does it does a lot of damage it pierces you know what i mean but like at the same time it's just not 
I just, it, I don't know. It just doesn't hit me right. You know what I mean? I usually don't go for it because I just, it just doesn't hit me right. You know? So I think I'm going to go B tier for that one. Like, it's not bad. You know, I got to give it that. It's not bad, but like, it's just not top of the line in my books, personally. Just not top of the line. Um, Black Heart, I forgot the name for it, but I call it Black Heart, is what you use to evolve the whip, and it it uh, upgrades your health, maximum health. I'm going to give it a C I don't know, actually. I was going to go, I was going to go C tier, but honestly, is this really a C tier? You know what I mean? Is it really a C tier? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The fact that you use it for the whip gives a little bit of a boost, but at the same time, maximum health, you don't really, you don't really utilize that because if you're taking damage, you're taking damage, no matter how much health you have, you're just going to be taking damage, you know, and that's always a bad thing with Vampire Survivors. The moment you sit there, you stand still late game, you start taking damage, no matter how much health you have, there's a good chance of you dying. There's a good, unless you can heal with, you know, which helps, but other than that, there's a good chance of you dying. Now, when it comes to the upgraded version of the Magic Wand, a lot of people don't like it, but me personally, I actually find this kind of a fawn weapon um and mainly on the library mainly because the fact that you could get the book empty tomb on the library for that seventh passive slot and you could just combine that with the wall and they get a, a, a free evolution just in case you have an extra weapon slot or something like that and on top of that i don't think the wand is really that bad now when it comes to hordes of enemies the wand is buns okay the aoe compatibility of wands is not great but that single target dps for bosses you know things like that i feel like it's pretty solid and on top of that it doesn't have bad knockback you know I, I i'd put this right next to bones uh because i usually use bones to knock enemies back away from me and i feel like magic wand can pretty much do the exact same thing except it's not random considering that the magic wand will shoot at enemies that are closest to you which can really come in handy for survivability now when it comes to damage output buns when it comes to the way the attack looks buns but utility you know it's 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 up there for me um honestly so i think i'm gonna give this a b tier mainly because of that utility purely because of that utility everything else is just kind of on the downside but the utility in my opinion is actually pretty solid now when it comes to knife bro i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i don't like it I don't like knife, you know, it's just late game, I, late game is just not for me, early game is just not for me, I feel like knife is probably, ah, that's a bold statement to say, I was gonna say it's probably one of the worst early game weapons, but, you know, it's, it's either C or D tier for me, I don't know which one I'm gonna put it in yet, but, you know, I'm kind of like, would I rather have cross or knife? I'd rather have cross. That's a fact. So I'm, I'm going to give that a D tier. Honestly, I'm going to give that a D tier. Now, my big boy, Labora, it's got to be S tier, bro. It's got to, it's just good. You can't, you can't knock it. You know, you know what I mean? You, with the right passes, with the right character, you will literally have a permanent bubble around your character of, of death that enemies just won't survive in, you know? It's, it's just that good, bro. It's literally just that good. Now, when it comes to Laurel, honestly, I feel like, like I don't I if I was rocking a god build right and I was just you know I Laurel wouldn't be there it just wouldn't it, it really just wouldn't I feel like I will only use this in specific builds or if I'm trying to go against death so he won't actually kill me instantly that's the only reason why I would lose use Laurel and the fact that it doesn't have an evolution so it's not in this max potential but other than that, I'd say it's a C tier for me. It's just going to be straight up C tier. Survivability is pretty solid, but at the end of the day, if you have the weapons to do a lot of damage, show that enemies won't even have a chance to come near you, Laurel just won't have its time to shine, you know? It just, it just won't. Uh, when it comes to the Thunder Ring, I feel like the Thunder Ring is pretty solid. You know, you can't knock the Thunder Ring. Like, it does what it needs to do, and it does it well. That, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. So I think I'm going to give that a B tier. I kind of want to give it an A tier, honestly, I low-key uh, kind of want to give it an A tier, but I usually don't like the, you know, I usually don't rock lightning ring, but at the same time, when I do pick it up, it's good, I can't knock it, it's, it's, it's good, um, magic wand, ooh, I'm gonna give magic wand, ah, I, I, I'm, it's gonna be C tier for me, it's gonna be C tier, it's not solid, it's, it's, it's not bad, it's, it's in the middle, it's not, you know, it's not, it, it's not as bad as knife, I'm gonna be honest, it's not as bad as knife, I'd rather have magic wand than knife any day, um, when it comes to the white bird, I'm, I'm gonna give that a C tier as well, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the black bird, but it doesn't look cool, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a C, I'm, uh, it's gonna be C tier, pentagram, that's another thing where I feel like it's just good in certain builds, 
builds. Like, if you're just walking a god build, I'm just not going to put pentagram in there. You know what I mean? It, it's just it's just not going to be in there. It doesn't have evolution. It's literally there just if you're trying to do a specific run with one goal, and and, and that's really about it. So I'm going to give this a... I'm gonna, that's gonna be a detail for me. I'm gonna be. I'm, I was gonna put it over the knife, but I'd rather have knife than pentagram. That's gonna be a. That's gonna be a detail for me. Uh, when it comes to the red heart, use this to evolve with the garlic, so you can get soul eater. Red heart's not that bad, you know. As a passive, the fact that you can regenerate even at a greater speed, especially if you already have power ups, it's it's actually not that bad of a passive. Um, but, uh, if I were to choose, if, am I going to rock this every single time? No, that's just, that's, it's, it's just not going to be my go-to passive if I'm trying to go for a God build. That's, that's pretty much what it comes down to. And we did, we got Rune Tracer. You already know Rune Tracer's S tier. You already know. This man, this bad, it, we don't even have an evolution for him. And he, he already, he already packs a punch that is equivalent to evolved weapons, okay? Imagine him when he gets evolved, okay? He's going to be a God tier weapon. That's all it is. You know what I mean? It's, is is he's he's gonna be top of the line uh santa water now when it comes to santa water i'd say santa water is actually a pretty good weapon even before it had the ability to be evolved it was pretty solid the fact that it stays on the outskirts of the king bible or the uh or the uh what, uh, what is it what is it i forgot the name of that one but uh, when it comes on the outskirts of the king bible you have the king bible going in a circle and then you have like the little splashes of water going on the outside of the king bible so enemies will run into this before they get hit by the king bible and let's say enemy has a lot of health it would get pushed back by the King Bible back into the Santa water to keep taking damage. You know what I mean? It's a really good combination in my opinion. And I would definitely say this is a solid A tier weapon. Even without the evolution, if you just have the same exact uh, passives that you would have on uh, Labora, then Santa water would still be a really good weapon in my opinion. Uh, Soul Eater, I feel like Soul Eater is, is kind of is kind of underrated man you know a lot of people don't like soul eater because it just doesn't do that uh, do that a lot of damage which honestly in fact i will agree it doesn't do that amount of damage but it looks cool you, you can't knock it soul eater looks cool the fact that it looks cool is a lot you know that that means a lot it, it looks cool but you know the the damage output isn't that that great honestly but the utility of soul eater is actually pretty solid if you guys don't know anything that steps inside of soul eater uh takes more free or it, it, there's a higher chance to freeze it and it takes more knockback i believe this makes it where bosses that usually won't be able to be frozen can be frozen or bosses that won't be able to take that much knockback now can take a little bit more knockback which can go hand in hand with bones and the magic wand as i stated before so i'm gonna give soul eater a good solid a tier in my books just for straight utility purposes now when it comes to damage obviously it's just not gonna be it's not gonna be able to hang with the big boys in damage you know what i mean but for utility i think you know it's it's one of the only weapons that even offers that type of utility in the first place you know what i mean uh, next, we got Spellbinder, which increases the duration of items. You know, Spellbinder it, it, it's, it's up there, bro. It's one of the best passives in the game. Hands down, one of the best passives in the day. It, it helps out a lot of weapons because it increases the duration. Things like Santa Water, things like uh, the King's Bible, you know what I mean? Uh, things like pretty much a bunch of other what now that i think about it a lot of weapons really benefit from duration um and the fact that you use it to evolve king's bible and you know that that it goes up bro it goes up next we got the spinach which increases the damage of items now i usually don't rock spinach because uh this is what you use to to evolve the fire wand and i usually don't rock the fire wand but spinach as a passive the fact that it increases damage is actually not that bad you know what i mean you you can't go wrong with increasing the damage of your weapons you know what i mean you just can't go wrong um but the fact that you use it to evolve you know the fire wand which i personally do not use like at all I'm going to say that this is a solid B tier. You know, that's going to be a solid B tier. I like it, but if it were to be used to evolve something else like Rune Tracer, imagine the spinach imagine bro now that 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 would bump it up that would, but you know it, it just doesn't that's just not the case um next we got the stone head which increases the amount of gold that you get per coin you know i pre i'm pretty much this is irrelevant when you you pretty much unlock everything in a game it just becomes irrelevant at that point you know it's like i already have everything so why do i need extra gold you don't 
that you, you just don't so i'm not gonna you know it, you don't use it to evolve anything it's just useless to me personally at this point um next one we're gonna go with the daggers now the evolved version of the daggers is actually it's actually not too shabby i'm gonna be honest it's not too shabby the fact that you can use this for a dps on a single target and the fact that you can use it to clear a path just in case you're trying to go somewhere you know what i mean it it, it has its purpose but usually in the late game of vp you're just standing still and letting everything kill everything while you're just waiting for the timer to go down so you can finish your game and you know this really doesn't do that much dps at the end of the day and it doesn't really help out late game in my opinion um but it, it looks pretty solid you know having all those daggers fly out at one time it doesn't look too shabby you know it doesn't you know it doesn't look too shabby i'm gonna give this a i'm gonna give this a solid c tier though honestly i i I, i'd rather have the evolved version of the fire wand than have any evolved version of the daggers at the end of the day next one we got is the thunder loop thunder loop is really good and it looks cool on top of that it looks cool i'm gonna give us it's gonna be s tier for me thunder loop is gonna be an s tier you know it's up there with damage with rune tracer with the uh with labora you know what i mean and the fact that you use the uh the ring to evolve it it's it's just up there bro it's one of the best weapons in the game in my opinion for real next one we have is revival now i'm gonna be honest revival has come in clutch for me and a lot of times um and uh other than that it's pretty much buns in my opinion i usually don't even pick up this passive because we have the power up you know what i mean we have a power up where if we die we come back this pretty much makes it where if we die two times we can come back two more times you know and that's really all it does but it doesn't have a evolution and you know it's just anytime i see it, i just don't pick it up because i already know i have the power up now if i didn't have the power up then i'd, I'd be more lenient towards t picking up but i have the power up so you know that's it's, it's just what it is now this one s tier you are, you already know it's got to be s tier you already know it's got to be s tier this is like the literal go-to if you want to have a god build get this weapon evolve it at all times that's what that is you know i think it's called the vespers or something like that that's what you have to get bro if you ever run a god build and this isn't in there it's just not a god build at the end of the, it's just not it's just not and then we got the bird you know the birds got to be s tier they got to be s tier nah! Now that I'm thinking about it, bro, uh, I'm gonna give it an A tier. Now I'm gonna be honest. Look, hear me out. Hear me out. I know what you're saying. You're dumb. You're dummy. I, I know what you're saying. Hear me out. Look, uh, it, it, it's the only union in the game, right? But the fact that it's so difficult to get and it's so tedious and so annoying to get, you know what I mean? There's been a lot of times where I'm trying to get this bird, right? And I have both of these, you know, and, and I get both of these to level eight and I unify it. And then this one is level one and I end up dying because my DPS just isn't there to, com to compete with all the enemies because I just sacrificed two really, you know, two yeah, pretty solid weapons to get this one right here. Now, if you get this guy all the way leveled up, all the way to the max, you survive, everything like that, it's 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 gonna do what it does you know it's gonna it's gonna dish out the damage whether you want it to or not but the fact that it takes so much to get there lowers it down for me just a little bit just a little bit it's not gonna be s tier it's gonna be a tier just a little bit i'd rather have these than have that because this these up here these are a lot easier to get versus this one but i'm gonna be honest it does do a lot of damage it is pretty damn good but it just takes a lot to get there you know but when you get there it does what it needs to do you know what i mean all right we're almost done the next one i'm going to do is the whip now i'm gonna be honest i feel like the whip is only good early game you know the evolved whip is pretty solid but you know late game this guy is pretty much not good um but you know early game it's not bad the whip is not bad early game but i'm gonna give it a c tier you know it's just not it's just not special it's really just not special at the it's it's, it's really just not you know it's, it's just not um the next one is going to be movement speed movement speed is pretty solid but i feel like the only reason i'd use movement speed is if i'm going for a specific build more so if i'm going for a melee build so you know but it does have its uses i'm gonna give that a, also a c tier you know that's gonna be in a c tier league now i want to make some adjustments because I, I was thinking about some things but i just want to make some adjustments real quick i'm going to bring axe down to c tier because it's just not good you know evolved yeah but regular no and i'm gonna bump up this evolution up to b tier and i think that's gonna be it for my tier list of all of the weapons inside of vampire survivors hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comments do you agree with me which i 
feel like a lot of you will or do you you know or, or do you disagree with me you know what what do you think that would have been better where would you have put items and uh yeah thank you for watching i appreciate you guys having me here and entertaining you and have a good morning evening and afternoon i'll see you guys later peace